They say a puppet runs a wound on it has a bad new way of hand. Hey, that bit's gone so with a hand up his butt, better take a stand. You are on a mission of the utmost distance importance, me. We're on the same, on the same mission. This brand new episode of the Rochester Indie Musician Spotlight, Rochester's premier music and interview show. We're counting down to 50 regularly scheduled episodes this season, and it's the biggest set of the biggest names, the most sponsors, and the most support from the community as well. And joining us today is folk rock rock band Seth Bergolzio's Multibird. Let's give them a round of applause. And before we go, this episode was mixed by owner and operator of Wicked Squid Studios, Josh Pettinger. Please visit their website to find out how you can become a member of their studio today. This episode is brought to you by Bob Shop Records, Bernunzio Uptown Music, Row Photo, and Sound Source. Bernunzio Uptown Music, located in Rochester's East End, has been providing Rochester and the world with quality used string instruments since 1976. Bernunzio also offers concerts, workshops, and jam sessions. This season, we're in this warm, local, and creative space, Bob Shop Records. Located right outside the city at 1460 Munner Avenue, Bob Shop Records is your home for blues, classic rock, jazz, and classical in vinyl for the past 35 years. Row Photo is your Rochester home for photo, home theater installation, audio, and accessory needs. For three generations since 1898, Row Photo is there for you with second to none customer service. Stop by Row Photo's two convenient locations today. Trusted by musicians, recording engineers, and consumers, SoundSource is the place to go for instruments, gear, consignment needs, repairs, and to have all your questions answered by knowledgeable and friendly staff. Visit them at 161 Norris Drive for all things audio today. Additional support for the Rochester Indie Musician Spotlight comes from Three Heads Brewing and Joe Bean Coffee Roasters. This, of course, is the man, the myth, the legend. Seth Rogolzio, thanks so much for joining me today, man. I really sure. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. And he is the fearless leader and singer and guitarist of Multiburg. Uh, before we get too far, we want to make sure we know the rest of the band. Sean Jones on electric guitar, Stan Martinelli on bass, and Dom Marini on drums. Careful watchers of the show will recognize Dom. He was actually on, geez, about a year and a half ago with the great band Mulberry Soul. We aren't, they aren't playing around too much anymore, but it was a great episode nonetheless. So, Seth, it's good to be here with you, man. It's been a while in the works. Um, you've reached a lot of great heights and great fame with Doofus, the, anti, the band that came out in the late 90s, got a lot of publicity, got a lot of critical acclaim, but we'll come to all that in a little bit in your other projects. I want to get to know the early Seth. Where are you from and, and when did you first start playing music? Uh, well, I was born in Utica, mm -hmm. New York, and um, my first paid gig was at six. <laughs> uh, singing in a boys choir. Wow. In a uh, big old tall church. Mm -hmm. Had some really wonderful experiences. I remember like closing my eyes and mm -hmm. immersing in the music at that age. So yeah. um, that's yeah. probably my, that's my start. And then I you know, started playing cello, mm -hmm. switched to upright bass, switched to bass guitar, switched to acoustic guitar. <laughs> uh, that's kind of where I stuck. Right, it's a, it's all around the circle of fifths at some point. Huh? <laughs> I didn't know this about you. You play the upright bass. That's cool. I pretend to be an upright bass player myself. So when did you start writing songs? Uh, really started getting to work writing songs around 15. Mm -hmm. And what was that early stuff like? Uh, I, <laughs> I, I was first in like a kind of like metal band. Mm-hmm. Uh, kind of strange metal band uh, called Nocturnal Fear, and then uh, moved into kind of indie rock mm -hmm. sort of thing, in a band called Goat. Now there's a really famous band called Goat, <laughs> but uh, this was an earlier band. And the original Goat. And then the first project that I was like full-on leader of, those were two collaborative projects. Mm. The first first full-on my project sort of thing was Cleveland Funk Tribe. Mm which was when I was about 18 years old. And um, I'm actually working on releasing the second album of that oh, band, cool. which was recorded in 96, I believe. Oh, man. In, in California, yeah. 
Oh, that's cool. So. It's a nice little throwback. So speak, it's about the same time frame. That's when Doofus first started to come on the scene. And um, yep. to me, it seems like going from a, a metal band playing called Nocturnal Fear, and then to all this other stuff, to, to, to Doofus. It seems like a big leap. When did you first start getting into this folk, anti-folk, prog, rock sound? Like What, what drew that and what drew to, to Doofus? Was, I mean, it's really hard to say what what made something happen. Mm. Uh, you know, like leaving home, leaving yeah. family, and uh, beginning life anew definitely changed me quite a bit. I, I for a long stretch, didn't listen to other people's music. Mm. I would only work on my own. Um, just to, I was trying to find my own voice. Mm -hmm. And so that was kind of... The birth of Doofus, that that stretch of time, I was experiencing the music live. Mm. Um, if I was performing somewhere or going out to a show, but I was not listening to recorded music for a stretch of two or three years. Yeah, and that was like my incubation, right. I guess. And uh, the results of that incubation are, are very interesting. We, we toss around the word. We've tossed around the word multi-talented more often on this season than not, but. Everything you do, whether it's playing an instrument, singing, whether it's writing songs, your great loop painting project, you just came from a great tour in Germany with your loop painting projects, uh, sculpting, 23 Sages, that, that, where did, how did you sort of become comfortable enough in yourself to explore stuff that's a little bit more on the fringes or isn't exactly something that's easily explained to people? I mean, where did that sort of sense come from and, and how did you find it within yourself to, to be comfortable playing out with that stuff? Uh, I think that that all is just very natural to me. Mm. I don't, I don't try to be a certain way. Right. It's it's when I'm actually expressing myself that I feel the most comfortable. Mm. So, it's, to me, what you're saying is kind of opposite of what I'm doing. It's actually like I'm striving to be comfortable with who I am mm. by creating this work because this is who I am. Right. I, I don't no, know if that no, makes sense. no, it, it does. It, you know, I it, we talk about getting outside of genres a lot in this too, and how, especially in Rochester, there, there's less of an emphasis on what you play. You know, it's like, oh no, I'm a rock guy or I'm a blues guy. It's just about what is great and what is enjoyable. And I think you've you've managed to accomplish that pretty well. It's it's like I, one thing I like is like watching you doing everything what you do. It's exactly what you said. It's like a it's like a direct tap from your brain. And that and that that's what's coming out. I mean, do you do you have to work on being so free, or is that just it? It is just all organic because not, not all of your projects are sort of live based, like the loop painting is. I mean, you always have you have to write songs too. Yeah. So is everything organic? Is that how you work? Uh, I I try to enjoy my work, mm. um, no matter what. If I, if I'm not enjoying it, I try to stop. Right. Uh, to me, that is sensible. Right. Um, otherwise, you're not. Enjoying your life, and exactly. what's the point? They say a puppet runs a voodoo, it has a bamboo with a hand. Hat flap its gums with a hand up its butt, better take a stand. You are on a mission of the utmost, it's just important to me. We're on the same, on the same mission. question you, uh, you, you answered sure it pretty well answer. I right. it, was, it was a complicated one uh so i mean we, we've talked about all the things you do from the loop painting projects 23 sages you've heck you up you've been in forest creature duo project uh, the list of stuff goes on and then what we have here is multi-bird can you tell us how multi-bird first got started uh multi-bird kind of came out of the 100 songs project that i was working on mm. a couple of years back um i had written a hundred songs in four months, wow. and then made the plan to release one song a week, fully produced for mm. the whole next year. So fifty songs in the following year, and um, we were all part of Twenty Three Sages, and I was yearning to get more stuff recorded, mm. and so we formed Multi Bird to just, you know, like do a whole other group of songs because Twenty Three Sages is kind of a large band. It's hard to teach. 
Right. You know, one song takes a while to teach mm -hmm. all nine members. Right. So we just split off into the rhythm section, basically, and so that we could kind of like churn a few more songs out mm. and then just kind of like, oh, well, I've got a European tour. Do you guys want to come on this <laughs> tour? And, and they came on tour with me and then they did another tour with me after that. We got invited to play some festivals. Too cool. So, uh, yeah. And yeah. one thing I've really liked about watching your soundtrack is you guys work also well as a unit. Uh, what about Dom, Sean, and, and Stan, about you work so well? Like, what do they do to help you facilitate playing your music? Well, they're all a little bit more together than I am. <laughs> um, I'm, yeah. I'm like the most forgetful of the, the four. Like, I, I mean, I've played the songs more than any of them, but I, I'm still more likely to screw up the structure. And, and so they, they really hold me together. Yeah, it's a, nice, <laughs> it's a nice grounding thing. I think we all lift each other to uh, greater heights as well. Cool. Yeah, yeah, and th this is... Um, a little bit of a bittersweet moment here on the Rochester and Musician Spotlight. While it is Sean's birthday, let's give Sean a round of applause at his birthday. Thank you for coming out and celebrating with us. Um, it is, however, Stan's last show yep. with Multibird. Yep. And we're very we're we're so thankful that we can capture this this moment on video and and put out a great product for you guys. And uh, why don't you just kind of reflect on, on Sean and his time with Multibird? Stan, you mean? Stan, thank you. There are a lot of S's in this movie, I apologize. Too many S's, yeah. You're doing well. Thank you, appreciate yeah. that. Um, well, Stan answered an ad. I actually, was, <laughs> the one time I've ever put up an ad on Craigslist was looking for a female bass player. And Stan answered the, the ad. <laughs> uh, because, because 23 Stages, um, we, it started, for a long time it was very male-female balanced. Hmm. And we liked that. We were trying to keep it that way, so I was I was like, okay, let's try to get a female bass player to, you know, keep the the male to female ratio kind of even in the band, and um, Stan answered, and he he came. I was like, oh, nobody else wrote me, uh, <laughs> uh, and he came, and he had like done his homework. He learned a few songs, and they were like he was spot on, and he picked up stuff very quickly. So he jumped in. And, it's been an awesome couple of years. Yeah, man. We're, we're going to miss you. Let's, let's give him a round of applause and all of his future endeavors. Thank you so much for considering Smoky Bird. And let's give one more round of applause to Seth. He got through most of the questions. Let's give him a round of applause. He got through most of them. All right. There's one night a week in this town where I live Where you can get the things you need without a dime to give Garbage night Garbage night When people you need out on the curb for free It may take a month before you see it Maybe just a day But while you're looking, stay alert You never know what you find along the way It may not fit, oh look so perfect You're gonna paint or a couple says it do You can't be choosy when you shop in refuse Garbage night And if you've seen the show before, you know it's coming. This is the lightning round. Even though it's called the lightning round, you okay. will feel, feel free to take your time. One word answers? If you want. Okay. It's, it's, it's whatever you want. If you want to pontificate for a little bit, that's okay too. Okay. These are three big picture questions. You ready to go? Yeah. Sounds good. If you could accomplish one thing in music and be happy, what would it be? Accomplish one thing in music and be happy? Mm -hmm. What would it be? That's a confusing question. Did you do that on purpose? Is it uh, like, like no one else has thought it was confusing, okay. so I haven't, I haven't, did, I didn't well, do Well, I mean, purpose. if I could accomplish one thing in music. Right, like anything musically, like, would it be something like playing for like 10,000 people? Would it be like making the perfect album? Like, what, my, what's I mean, like my, uh, my ideal would be to, when I toured, have mm. two or three hundred people at the shows. Mm. Right now it's, you know, about 50. Yeah. So... That's, I, I, don't, I don't want to be famous or anything, but I would like there to be a nice, right. stable right. thing. And, and to have like some stable money would be kind of cool. <laughs> we, it's, we, a, it's always unpredictable. We can, always, we can relate. Uh, what, makes, what makes Rochester such a great place for original music? Well, for me, it, 
I, I moved here because of my child. Mm. I, I didn't move here for music. I was living in Ithaca at the time. And uh, when I moved here, I was like, wow, the rent is really cheap. <laughs> and so I think that is a great factor about yeah. Rochester, that the, the housing prices are very low. And we have a, a lot of space. And there are a lot of really cool venues and a lot of supporters of live music. Um, it's a confluence of things. Yeah, for yeah. sure. I, I find that the scene is fairly versatile. Mm. I always am yearning for more on the experimental side of mm -hmm. things. But um, we have definitely little pockets where that is happening right. as well. And you're one of those big pockets, and we're really <laughs> glad you're doing it. We have one more for you. Do you have any advice for aspiring artists? Uh, um... Art first, business second. Well, no, 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 no. Health first, art second, business third. There we go. Seth, thank you so much for your time, man. Really appreciate it. I'm Dan Gross. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Rochester Indie Musician Spotlight. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Multibird. This episode was mixed by owner and operator of Wicked Squid Studios, Josh Pettinger. Please visit their website to find out how you can become a member of their studio today. This episode is brought to you by Bob Shop Records, Bernunzio Uptown Music, Row Photo, and Sound Source. Bernunzio Uptown Music, located in Rochester's East End, has been providing Rochester and the world with quality used string instruments since 1976. Bernunzio also offers concerts, workshops, and jam sessions. This season, we're in this warm, local, and creative space, Bob Shop Records. Located right outside the city at 1460 Munner Avenue, Bob Shop Records is your home for blues, classic rock, jazz, and classical in vinyl for the past 35 years. Row Photo is your Rochester home for photo, home theater installation, audio, and accessory needs. For three generations since 1898, Row Photo is there for you with second to none customer service. Stop by Row Photo's two convenient locations today. Trusted by musicians, recording engineers, and consumers, SoundSource is the place to go for instruments, gear, consignment needs, repairs, and to have all your questions answered by knowledgeable and friendly staff. Visit them at 161 Norris Drive for all things audio today. Additional support for the Rochester Indie Musician Spotlight comes from Three Heads Brewing and Joe Bean Coffee Roasters. Ladies and gentlemen, Multibird! <laughs> Hello everybody, thank you for being here. Tomorrow 
Nothing can you do today When you're looking down in sorrow You will miss the point, they say As they say, a puppet runs a wound Only has a body with a hand Half that it's gone with a hand up his butt Better take a stand You are on a mission of the utmost Just as important as me We're on the same, on the same mission Chester Weekly Holiday. There's one night a week in this town where I live Where you can get the things you need without a dime to give Garbage night, garbage night When people put the things you need out on the curb for free It may 
take a month before you see it, maybe just a day. But while you're looking, stay alert, you never know what you find along the way. It may not fit, oh, look so perfect, you're gonna paint or a couple scissors, do you can't be choosy when you shop in refuse. Garbage night, garbage night, when people put the things you need out on the curb of free. Tons of fun, grabbing up electronics within my time machine. I'm looking it and off I went. It sent me exactly one second off a new future. I declared it works, it works. Nobody believed it, they were jerks, jerks. I thought then that the trash was my only friend again and again. The treasure's right around the bend. Garbage night, garbage night. People put the things you need out on the curb of a furry. Treasure hunt at night I won't mind There's plenty out here for our kind Please be advised Watch out for mean guys Not to mention bed bugs Cockroaches might eat your eyes Garbage night Garbage night When people put the things you need out on the curb of a parade Cause he 
Here I come, join the sun I'm making a run I'm having some fun Here in the sun I feel last one With my future and past With my inner world not done Yeah, I'll be going on the radio Yeah, the book for a dozen Gonna make it show Give a shout out to my cousin The radio Of an awesome show, you look nice and slow. The rhythm, we somehow already know. Nice and slow, the rhythm, we somehow already know. It was nice and slow. It was nice and slow. Nice and slow, the rhythm, we somehow already know. No practice, nothing to know. Just go and go. A determined man, I'm a determined man. A determined man, I'm a determined man. Spreading kindness across the land I'm like the bearded oaf in the wizard movie You can't help but vote for Because his soft-hearted nature is somehow naive Yet endearing for sure I really believe, really believe in it Really believe in it I really believe, really believe in it Really believe, I really believe I really believe in it, really believe Everything is perfect I'm falling and subject to it Draw a perfect circle Somehow you would say it too
itself And you do the shape Of an arrowhead oh, 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 Into a fetal hole Replacing air water This episode was mixed by owner and operator of Wicked Squid Studios, Josh Pettinger. Please visit their website to find out how you can become a member of their studio today. This episode is brought to you by Bob Shop Records, Bernunzio Uptown Music, Row Photo, and Sound Source. Bernunzio Uptown Music, located in Rochester's East End, has been providing Rochester and the world with quality used string instruments since 1976. Bernunzio also offers concerts, workshops, and jam sessions. This season, we're in this warm, local, and creative space, Bob Shop Records. Located right outside the city at 1460 Munner Avenue, Bob Shop Records is your home for blues, classic rock, jazz, and classical in vinyl for the past 35 years. Row Photo is your Rochester home for photo, home theater installation, audio, and accessory needs. For three generations since 1898, Row Photo is there for you with second-to-none customer service. Stop by Row Photo's two convenient locations today. Trusted by musicians, recording engineers, and consumers, SoundSource is the place to go for instruments, gear, consignment needs, repairs, and to have all your questions answered by knowledgeable and friendly staff. Visit them at 161 Norris Drive for all things audio today. Additional support for the Rochester Indie Musician Spotlight comes from Three Heads Brewing and Joe Bean Coffee Roasters.
thoughtful, make me peaceful, grow my spirit, make me thankful, I'm dry and hard. Today could possibly change No need to stay Always stay the same Can change your name And move your place Make different choice Use different voice You find yourself in different places Extend your mind With different rhymes Make your time with all your devices Oh, 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 oh. I'll give you the best that I can I give you the best that I can It's not that much more than it Go, 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 go
Dominic Marini. Go 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 Sing your horrible song. Sing your horrible song. Sing your horrible song. <laughs> And I'm rubbing it up to pour a cup. I wanna take a pull and drink myself up. I pour a cup, oh yeah. I'm rubbing it in, oh yeah. I'm rubbing it in, uh, I'm heaving in a bottle and I'm rubbing it up to pour a cup. I wanna take a pull and drink myself up. I pour a cup, oh yeah. I'm rubbing it in, oh yeah. I'm rubbing it in. When I put a joke in, into the mental ether, I yoke the folk up and they giggle with their dental teeth. Rental cars for miles and miles, emptying the pockets of the souls defiled. I'm ripping up the money, I'm ripping up the money, I'm ripping up the money, even though my joke was funny. It made your eyes all run, even they tightened up your tummy. But it 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 but it
keep running like this This isn't this, it's like I missed the point Rerolled it to the joint To cover up the pain I could never seem to tame But this is the time when my mind isn't fine I'm finding out the kind of man I can't be when I shine I'm fine, I'm an artist of the utmost I roast all my past selves in an oven made of love They cook to perfection, warm and tender No need to defend them, I gobble them up And wash them down with the goblet of my blood This is self-love of the highest order This ain't no ordinary Sorb, sorb, absorb all my past selves Absorb all my past selves Absorb all my past selves Robin it and 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 Human in a bottle and I'm rubbing it up To pour a cup, I wanna drink, I wanna drink myself up I pour a cup, oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in uh, Oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in uh, I'm human in a bottle, I'm rubbing it up To pour a cup, I wanna drink, I wanna drink myself up I pour a cup, oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in Oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in About this, won't say it loud, that'd be annoying. Somehow made a song that I sing, and that's a thing. Oh, yeah, I'm rubbing it in. Oh, yeah, I'm rubbing it in. When I was a little kid, oh, seven found a gun in an abandoned building, just out there having fun. What things any different than I have, they stay the same. Gobble up my past self, and then I changed the name, and I said, Oh, yeah, I'm rubbing it in. Oh, yeah, I'm rubbing it in. Oh, yeah, rubbing it in. Oh, yeah, I'm rubbing it in. If you take a picture of the who I was then, and then again take a picture of the me that was then, oh yeah, I gobbled it up. Oh yeah, I gobbled it up. Look a couple years into the future and then compare to the picture of the me that was then, and you can tell, oh yeah, I gobbled it up. Oh yeah, I gobbled it up. Human in a bottle, 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 and I'm rubbing it up. To pour a cup, I wanna drink a bowl and drink myself up. To pour a cup, oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in. Oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in. A human in a bottle, I'm rubbing it up. To pour a cup, I wanna drink a bowl and drink myself up. Won't say it loud, that'd be annoying Somehow made a song that I sang, that's a thing Oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in Oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in Every memory, every thought you think Can get lost or put into the mental sink And I said, oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in Oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in I'm gazing down from up above And Derry only looking at my brain with love And I said, oh yeah, I'm rubbing it in String break song. <laughs> you can find a video for that one, it's called Rubbing It In. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> made a music video for it. It's pretty wacky. Bum bum.
Nations in the world, exalted them. Give me 